Nancy. Yes, dear. Now be honest. At my age, do you think I should be doing something like this? <laughs> Believe me, Ronnie, every once in a while it's healthy to do this sort of thing. It isn't just for young people, you know. A lot of people our age do it. I hear even George Burns did it. But not while wearing roller skates. Probably not. <laughs> and why shorty pajamas? Why can't I just wear the normal lounge type? Oh, Ronnie, you look good, dear. I like the way you look. And the water wings? <laughs> mm, I like those, too. Listen, can I take off the water wings and the money ears? Oh, I wish you wouldn't. Nancy, I'm really surprised at you. I mean, this is strange. I wouldn't think you'd go in for this. And I've known you an awful long time. I suppose you want me to take off the pirate boots and throw away the pogo stick and the dumbo ears. Can I remind you of something? I am the president of the United States. Ooh, <laughs> that's what makes it so wild. <laughs> Now, Ronnie, Ronnie dear, just grit your teeth and say, I'm going to jump in with both feet. All right, I'll do it. But I just wish I could take off the beaver tail and get rid of the skates. <laughs> oh, it's too late now, dear. Mwah. Good luck. I'll probably be sorry in the morning. All right, stand by, Mr. President. You're on, and cue the president. <clears throat> Live from New York, it's Saturday night. <laughs> gotten separated from the tour. Oh, you mean the little one standing there staring at the picture of George Washington, dear? Yes, I'll just go over and stand behind him and tell him what a great country this is. Excuse me, little boy. That's the father of our country you're looking at. His name's George Washington. He was also the first president of the United States, and a great president he was, too. He fought for our country and made it the great country that it is today. And after you finish school, you can grow up to be president, just like George Washington. And you can live here in the White House, just like me. What? Me leave Fantasy Island? Neither! The plane! The plane! Saturday Night Live? Well, you know I can't stay up that late, but Ed Meese often tells me about the show the next morning. So, send him in. Be glad to, Mr. Bill. 
Listen, why don't we discuss this out in the Rose Garden? The Rose Garden? You've never seen the Rose Garden? Well, listen, hop up here on the windowsill and I'll show it to you. Well, uh, just give me a hand now. That's a little hard for me to hop. Sure, Mr. Bill. Uh, but be careful there. Watch out. <laughs> well, there's the Rose Garden down there. And Watch out. I won't. No, 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 no. Secretary of State Sluggo and his new B-1 bomber. <laughs> ah, the poor little fella should have stuck to show business. air traffic controllers. He taught them a thing or two. Would you mind if I sat in with you? Oh, good morning, sir. We'd enjoy very much having you sit up here with us. We were just remarking what a good job you did with the air traffic controllers. Well, Dennis Morgan and I used to fly these things together. <laughs> Is that so, sir? Oh, yes, yes. In painting the clouds with sunshine, in Hellcats of the Navy, we logged over 100,000 hours. That's incredible, sir. You know, I shot down four Japanese fighter planes in one afternoon in 1944. Now that was in the Pacific? No, that was in Lassie Comes Home. <laughs> but again, sir, our congratulations on the, your handling of the air traffic controller problem. Right. Like I was saying, sir, you taught them a thing or two. Well, that's for sure. Tallahassee Center, this is Air Force One. Request your clearance for current heading and altitude. Over. Thank you for calling Tallahassee Center Control. We're not in right now. <laughs> but if you'll leave your flight number and altitude at the sound of the beep, we'll get right back to you. Right back to you. Right back to you. <laughs> 